Hi everyone. I want to show you right now how to verify a password in ServiceNow against an old password. Now this is something I had to do recently and there was really nothing online to tell me how to do it. So I'm just going to show you right now. Whenever a password is reset, there are things that you can do to basically check if that password meets your standards. And that's kept in a script in the installation exits uh, application. So I'm just going to go installation exits and then just search for password, you know, contains password. And you'll see these two things. Now, if you're on a somewhat modern version of ServiceNow, this validate password stronger. Yeah, I know ServiceNow has a really creative naming convention. Um, this one should be the one that you're using. Now you're gonna see all this code in here and this is actually checking for special characters and whatnot. The issue that I had with this is that I could not find a way to actually pull in the old password. That was the issue that I had. So what you're basically just gonna do to pull in the old password, you can see up here, user underscore password, request.getParameter, sysparm new password. Well, that's great and all, and that does get you a string of the new password before it's hashed, but how could you compare it to the old password? A lot of us have requirements where we have to do this. So let's just go ahead and do that. So if I just make myself a little bit of space, I'm gonna do var new underscore, well, before I even you know touch the new one, let's uh, straighten everything up here real quick. There we go. Let's just get the old password, var old underscore password is what I'm going to do. So this is probably why most of you are watching this video. How do I get that old password? I can't see any way to do it. Well, it's the same way, request.getParameter. And then the uh, keyword for this is user password current. So I'm going to do user password current. Now, in order to compare something in both of these passwords, I'm going to need to do some lower level stuff. I'm sure there are, are functions in JavaScript that could do this too, but I'm just going to go ahead and do two char array, which is a just a, a function built into string that allows you to change it to a character array like old school programming. So let's also do var new password. And I'm just gonna do there uh, user underscore password. Since we've already grabbed it, I don't wanna slow it down anymore than I have to, dot to char array. Okay, so now I have both passwords in a character array format. So what I can do is something like this. Uh, an if statement, if old password array zero, because remember, we're dealing with the character array now, so it's just an array of characters. So the first thing in the old password is equal to new password uh, zero as well. So we're just, what we're doing in this function is we are checking to see if the first character is the same. And let's say your requirement were, you know, to be don't allow a user to start a password with the same character, right? There's definitely more complex stuff you can do here. I'm not gonna actually do that, although I have done it. You can do loops that actually check character per character and calculate how similar they are. But we're just gonna do something really sample, uh, simple. Um, so we're gonna do a GS dot add error message, right? And then we're gonna go, um, first character must change from old password, right? Okay, so that's just alerting the user of why we're about to fail them, and then we're going to return false. All right, so then I'm going to go out of full screen here, and I'm going to save this. So what I'm about to do here, you should be really careful when you do it because if you do it with your own account and you don't have anyone to get you back in, you might really have a problem. I've taken a little precaution to do this with the admin account 
in a real environment, make sure you have at least one coworker who could let you back in. I would recommend making a dummy account to do this kind of thing with, honestly. So what we're going to do now, it's been saved. So I am going to go to my user account, sysuser.list, and we are going to flag my account for password reset. So I'm just going to go mark, see if it can find me, mark.ensley, right? So yep, I'm going to do password needs reset and I'm going to save that in order to test this thing that I've just done. So I know what my password is and I'm going to do a, a make a password that uses the same first character. So uh, I'm going to try to log in. It's going to make me change my password. Now for those of you wondering how I figured out what the actual parameter was. I had to actually inspect this thing and wow that's really big. I wasn't expecting that. There we go. Okay so if I just kind of peruse through this let me try that again. I think I had to go up here inspect. There we go. There you see it. User password current. That's how I figured this out. So you can probably assume that anything else along these lines will usually use the same kind of thing. So I'm going to put in my current password and then I'm going to put in another password that has the same first character. And let's see if my little block works. There you go. First character must change from old password. That's my alert and it stopped me from doing it. So I'm actually going to now and this is where it gets dangerous. Hopefully I didn't do this wrong to where it will actually not let me in anyway. I'm going to change it to something with the first character being different. Everything else the same, by the way. Oh, well, okay. So yeah, that, that's a thing too. It needs to be at least eight characters, right? So I must have made that one uh, earlier than that. So let's try that. Let's try it with the... Uh, Let's try it with like a really strong password. Okay, so now it lets me in with my new password, right? So this is how you can verify passwords if you've never dealt with verifying password changes, making sure they meet your requirements. Uh, beyond that, that is how you can compare it to the old password. I ran into a thing where I was doing this and I was wondering, well, how can I get the old password? You know, there is a password store, but it stores the hashed values, and I am not computer sciencey enough to know of an algorithm that can compare characters used in a hashed password. I, I believe that that doesn't exist. But you can get it when they enter in their old password initially as they're resetting. So I hope this has been helpful, and uh, definitely like, like, subscribe, and have a good night.